Hey guys, Claude Johnson here from GuitarControl.com and uh, today I want to talk about hybrid picking which is basically using your pick and your other fingers of your picking hand and you can, you can do some cool stuff like uh, you know I was just playing a simple chord progression kind of made it cool so let me show you exactly what I'm doing here okay so I'm starting on an A chord and it's really a partial A chord just on the D, G and B strings so I got my ring finger on the 7th fret D string uh, middle finger on the 6th fret of the G string and then first finger on the 5th fret of the B string and you got these three notes and how I'm picking this I'm holding my pick between my first finger and thumb picking the D string and then I'm going to be using my middle finger to pluck the G string in an up motion and using my ring finger to pluck the G string or sorry, the B string. So if I twist my hand a little bit so you can see it better, it's like... Once again... Okay, now, that's basically hybrid picking. You know, just using your pick with your fingers. I'm also using a specific picking pattern, which goes like this. Okay, it's an eight note pattern. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're basically going from the high string to the low string and repeating. So remember, ring finger, middle finger, pick. Ring finger, middle finger, pick. And this eight note pattern starts on the D string. So we have D string, B, G, D, B, G, D, B. And if you like to learn from you know the tabs, please check the tabs. Or if you like to learn just playing by ear, it just okay. So that's our eight note pattern. Then we go up to the D chord, same chord, but we just you know it slide up where we're you know in the twelfth, eleventh, and tenth frets. Back down to the A. Okay, then I do this. So here we're on the C chord. This is all major triads, by the way. C, G, A. Now these C and the Gs are only half a bar, meaning it's only four notes, so we can't do that whole pattern. What I'm doing here is, so it's D string, B, G, and then back down to the D. Okay? And then back to our A. Okay, so a couple quick pointers with this stuff. Um, just make sure you have the right tone when it's ringing out. Make sure you're picking at an even tempo. And, you know, really work on the phrasing. Get it so it's... Make it so it flows and it's, you know, just work on one chord at a time until it flows. It's got a nice rhythmic quality to it. rings out nicely. Um, and then you can start moving around. Another thing is... Oh, and, you, you know, along with that, don't pick, like, too loud or too quiet. Just make... Get it just right. It's real easy to go too loud or too soft. You kind of want it right in the middle um, and consistent. So work on that a little bit. Another thing that's important when you're sliding here, um, you can slide up and get like a nice little effect. So by using that slide, it adds a little bit of flavor to it. And I don't really recommend sliding the whole chord like this. You can do that too, but I like to just lift off and just slide on the D string. So when I'm done with this chord, I lift off with my middle and first finger. And I'm just sliding on the on the D string. And 
then I, after I slide, I put my fingers back down and play, keep playing the chord. Same thing when you slide back. So I feel, I feel that gives it a real nice, clean kind of phrasing when you do it that way. Um, you can keep all your fingers down and you'll get like a thicker sound, like I said. It's kind of an interesting effect too. You can try it both ways. Hope you enjoyed that and hopefully you'll come up with your own cool musical ideas based on hybrid picking. And if you want to get the tabs uh, for this lesson, just click the link below in the video description. That's all for now. Rock on and I'll catch you next time.